Hey, it's time of dish with D. That's me. Yeah, I didn't vlog yesterday because my phone, I don't know. It, it's telling me my storage is full and won't let me record, which I'm not sure how fast we'll get through today. But, you know, I'm going to try. I had a good vlog yesterday, too. It was about, it was for Mary Ellen because Mary Ellen was asking about my eating out tips. She has struggles when she goes out to eat. And I know I've gone over this before, but it always bears repeating because these are the things that in life that happen. Eating out happens. Sometimes you can plan it, and sometimes, like she, it happens in the spur of the moment. She comes home from work, her husband's retired, he said, hey, let's go out tonight. And if you haven't banked enough points in the day because you didn't plan to go out, what do you do? So these are tips that I gave her. I don't have a problem eating out. I think being on the blue plan is fantastic for eating out. Um, that's the only plan I've ever been on, so I really can't judge the other plan. Well, no, I was on green when it was smart points. So, yeah, I... Yeah, I'm not a green lover because I definitely struggled on green because I just, I don't know, having, having not to count chicken, fish, eggs, it's it made this a whole journey a whole lot easier for me. So, like I said, when you go out, back to that, what I like, if you know you're go, where you're going to go first, we'll try that one. Um, I always say, look up the restaurant if it's not in the app because not everything is in the app. Look at their menu, pre-plan what you're going to eat. This way, I don't look at the menu if I don't have to because, yeah, I don't need to look at the, those other things while I'm there and smelling those other things. And I'd be like, oh, I really want that. So I kind of free plan what I, what I have, unless we're going to have a fantastic special. So I do that. Track it already in my tracker. I kind of fit in things like a piece of bread. Why? Because the bread base is going to be there. And if you know me well enough to know, I love my carbs. I'm Italian. Yeah. And if I don't, if I go in there with not a lot of points, then I usually try to avoid the starch, the potato or the pasta or the rice and double veg. But if I have the points, I'm definitely going to have it because I definitely need that, you know, you're spending all this money, you want to be at least satiated. You don't want to go home hungry after you spent God knows how much at the restaurant. Um, I very rarely get pasta out unless it's at a really good Italian restaurant because, you know me sauce and pasta is my jam and if it's I'm not wasting points on stuff that I don't like so yeah I don't do that now if I don't plan to go out I'm say I only go, have 10 points left in the bank I didn't plan to go out we had I had a big breakfast and a big lunch point wise you know I only have 10 points left you can get a nice grilled piece of chicken a grilled piece of fish and double veg and you only have to count whatever oil it was cooked in which is not that much usually and Chinese, she said, she says a hard time at Chinese restaurants. When I go to Chinese, we have this really one cute little local place. Um, I get the, uh, I get the shrimp teriyaki because the shrimp is zero, the vegetables are zero. I only have to count the sauce and the rice. That's really not that much points. Or if you're really nervous, they have, always have a option that's called steamed vegetables and either chicken or shrimp. I get that a lot, and the sauce comes on the side brown rice sauce on the side I you know they give you a tablespoon so I measure as best I can how many tablespoons of sauce I look up in the app black bean sauce garlic sauce give it a point give it the you know give it something and it's usually not too trying it really isn't so I don't have sometimes I have soup because soup isn't you know I don't I don't think wonton soup or hot and sour soup is that point heavy I mean I wouldn't have um, a cream based soup I love getting the salad. If you've never gotten a salad at a Chinese restaurant with that um, miso ginger dressing, it's so good. So sometimes I get a little bento box and it comes with a salad and I, I just adore it, just adore it. But yeah, I, def I definitely opt out of the egg roll. I mean, it is fried. I mean, in the, in the grand scheme of things, it's probably not that trying, but if you're really point crazy, avoid the egg roll. Get the soup. The soup, soup is always a good option unless it's a bisque. I mean, I'm a big soup person, so um, that's what I do. But yeah, I try and, you know, I like fish. I like chicken. I like steak. If we're going to a steak restaurant, you better believe I'm getting a steak and a potato. Baked potatoes aren't that bad. If it's all the sour cream and butter that's really the killer. You know, try to get, you know, if it, the potato looks really big, eat half of it. I eat my skin most times, but... Yeah, try to avoid the, um, or if you're going to have a little of, of the sour cream, just put a little bit on top because, you, you know, I love putting salt and pepper on my potato. 
So yeah, I definitely enjoy a good steak. Now, if you're at a restaurant where the portions are like huge, and we know there's restaurants out there that give you these huge, big portions, I try and either throw the sum on my husband's dish, because once it's on his dish, I don't want it anymore. Or I ask for a takeout container as soon as it gets dropped off, and I put it right in the container, and I close it up, and I put it away. So it'll be his lunch the next day. I mean, or it could be mine. It depends. If it's pasta, I probably won't eat it the next day. But if it's something that's just, you know, vegetables and maybe potatoes or rice, I might just have it myself. But it's always good for Steve's lunch. And he takes and eats everything, so it's never a problem. But yeah, I, this way it's not on my plate. I won't feel the need to eat it. But if it's there and you keep, you know, picking at it, yeah, you'll wind up eating more than you wanted to. So... Those are a few more things that, I, like I said, the big thing is looking, I love to look at the menu. Like, he'll let me know where we're going. He usually has a coupon, which is fine. So, I usually know where we're going, and I can check out the menu. And sometimes we have appetizers, and if they're WW friendly, and Steve's really good about that. He knows, like, that I'm not going to have something that I don't plan, especially if it's past, you know, some closer to the way day. Like, if it's on, if it's way day night, like we got way in the morning, and I, I might be a little more looser with some because I have a lot of weeklies to use up. But if it's like Tuesday or Wednesday night and I can wait on Saturday, I'm not going to have a Bloomin' Onion with them. I'm not going to have bruschetta. I'm not going to have a heavy, you know, bruschetta's really not that bad. But opt out for like, I have mussels a lot. Of course, the bread is what kills me because I love dunking my bread in the mussel juice. But I, you know, I figure I'd rather just have the mussels and a little bit of bread or a shrimp appetizer or there's always funky salads you can get. Um, there's a lot of, you know, decent point friendly things. And do we get dessert once in a while? Sure we do. Do I get my own dessert? No, not anymore. I do not order my own dessert. And nine times out of ten, I'm really not hungry enough to have a full dessert anyway. So most times, depending on where we're at in the restaurant, because if it's a certain restaurant, like it's known for dessert, like the Cheesecake Factory, yeah, I want a piece of cheesecake, because it's a Cheesecake Factory. Let me tell you something, we went there for lunch, we had a gift card, my son, cute little thing that he is, gave us a cheesecake gift card, and I got this delicious, they have a whole skinny delicious menu. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So people, there are many places out there that cater to lower calorie meals it just you have to say check out their website some of them have like the, the lower calorie portion things on their menu the Weight Watcher or low calorie and Cheesecake Factory has the skinny delicious and so we're gonna order cheesecake I go like I Chinese chicken salad is what I ordered there it was 14 points delicious um I wanted to get cheesecake so and I said at the cheesecake factory you do so I pointed it, it's in the app a piece of the cheesecake that I wanted was 80 points. 80 points. You heard me. I'm like, I don't have enough weeklies for that. So I looked. They had another one called the low carb cheesecake. That was 27 points. So we split it. He actually had two thirds. I probably had a third. So I counted it as like nine points. But it was still good. Just because it's sometimes just because things are made lighter for us doesn't make them taste bad. That was a delicious cheesecake. It, oh, the crust had nuts in it. It was incredibly delicious. And I, it definitely hit my cheesecake note. I was happy. But yeah, I definitely, when we're at places like that, and we were at a Greek restaurant a while back, and they had these homemade Greek desserts, and it had, I didn't get baklava, believe it or not, and they had this thing, and it had like phyllo dough, and this kind of like baklava, and then it, and then it had like a cream filling. It was, I can't, borikibo or something like that. It was real. I know I butchered it, but it was so good. It was covered in like honey because they all cover all their serves of honey. So we split that and oh, it was good. I mean, yeah. So I'm, I'm from the, you know, school of, yeah, I split and I have dessert and I have appetizers because like I said, they're, everything is on plan. You just have to, you know, maneuver the thing. Sharing is always helpful. And and go for the lower point option. I mean, don't sit there and say, oh, the blooming onion really looks good. Right. No, I, you know, is it really that good? It's an onion that's fried. I mean, it's just an onion. So, yeah, I, I tend to go for the... the when they, things are cooked naturally, they just taste so much better. I don't even... The thought of a blooming onion doesn't even move me anymore. I love a nice fresh salad and they have these like fruits in them and different dressings and I don't know I'm just into these exotic things 
So I try them and he tries them. He's very, you know, good that way. He'll eat, well, he doesn't really eat anything. But yeah, definitely check out your menu. Try to save points if you know you're going out. That's always been my, you know, additive. Try to eat lower points the, the day. So you can go into dinner with 15 to 16 points. That's a lot of points. And like I said, you get the chicken, zero. You get fish, it's zero. So you're really counting the sauce and any kind of side. And like I said, sauce, if, if something is laden in some kind of a butter sauce or a cream sauce, ask them because they're usually pretty good and they'll put the sauce on the side. This way you can control how much you eat. That's big because it could be swimming in sauce and you don't know how much is there. You can't really figure it out because it's all spread on the plate. Try that. I, I find that's a big help. So Mary Ellen, there are a few of my tips. I hope they helped you. And remember guys, um, just do the best you can. You know, if you're at least thinking about it, you're doing something. That's how I look at it. And you know, we're only one meal away from being back on track. So if you happen to go something and go a little bit crazy, it's fine. It's life. You move on. Next meal, you're back on plan. You tighten that belt again and you, you punch, trudge forward. Put that head down and you keep, you keep hiking. Like Dory says, just keep swimming. That's all, you know, I, that was my motto and that's how I live by. It's the only way to live by. Give yourself some, what's that word? Grace. Give yourself some grace. Be kind to yourself. Right, Joan? <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell. Tomorrow is Saturday, which means Dish with D gets weighed and she gives a meeting topic. Ooh, please join me tomorrow. I hope. I don't know what the scale is going to show, but it is what it is and it's all I can do. So if you know anybody that would benefit from Dish With Me, please share me on your social media. Weight Watcher groups, Weight Watcher meetings would be fantastic. Or on Connect. I don't care. I love y'all. Have a great day.